Hello everybody, welcome to Ms. with PJ. Today's day is September 16, 2016. Our word for discussion is unceasingly. In Matthew 6, 9, after these manners, therefore, pray you, our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. In John 14, 13, and whatever you shall ask in my name, that will I do that the Father may be glorified in the Son. Romans 8.26 Likewise, the Spirit also helps our infirmities. For we know not what we should pray for as we ought, but the Spirit itself makes intercession for us with groanings which cannot be uttered. Ephesians 6.18, 6.18, praying always with all prayer and supplication in the Spirit, and watching thereunto with all perseverance and supplication for all saints. Philippians 4.6, be careful for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your request be made known to God. This word defined is, it means not ceasing or stopping, continuous, with unflagging resolve, ceaselessly, and strive for higher and higher toward the shining perfection that is a goal of every artiste. Insistently, unendingly, continuously, and endlessly. Jesus taught the apostles the Lord's Prayer. Our Father which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Jesus would leave the apostles and disciples to pray, especially when he was about to go to the cross. We also are to pray unceasingly with perseverance, supplication, and thanksgiving. Jesus told his disciples, disciples ask in my name that will I do that the father may be glorified in the son God is always listening once you think about this today have a blessed day